Minister of Higher Education Lakshman Kiriala has requested university students to resume their academics at the universities. He made this request from students who are currently refraining from attending lectures over the Saitam issue. A media briefing was convened by the medical faculty students activist. They are trying to find solutions to these problems by intimidating our parents at home. Students from the medical faculty are prohibited from entering the hostels. When we speak with them, they say that they will allow students to enter the hostels once we give them notice in writing that we will attend lectures again. Recently, we had a vote at the medical faculty in Colombo. 95% of the students opted to resume attending lectures. The vote was the same at the Rooney University. These children are intimidated. I request that these children break all barriers and attend lectures. If there are any allegations against them, we are ready to grant concessions and solve these issues through dialogue. Today, we spend 400,000 on a single university student annually. Every year, 10,000 million rupees flows overseas for education. Doctors maintain big businesses in sending children abroad. When Mahindra Rajapaksa was president, he said that Saitam must be launched. They could have opposed it back then. Today, this is not about opposing Saitam, but it is a force to obtain power. The Satyagraha campaign that commences on the 28th opposite the Fort Railway Station against private universities took place today as well. Today, a woman expressed her protest towards the Satyagraha campaign. <laughs> The conduct of the Government Medical Officers Association in relation to the SITEM issue was raised at several political dialogues today. There are private universities all over the world that are up to required standards. Sri Lanka has private hospitals and private medical colleges. They all must be according to required government standard. The St. Petersburg State Medical University in Russia is accepted over the world. When an assistant doctor returned with the qualification, these doctors did not allow their registration. They say that Saitam lacks clinical training. Who could be responsible for the lack of quality? Padania from the GMOA or Carlo Fonseca from the Sri Lanka Medical Council. When the Ministry of Higher Education inquired and noted there are shortcomings in relation to clinical training, we proposed for the opening of a private hospital. We are grateful to Dr. Neville Fernando for bearing the cost for the hospital. These people oppose private education. Why are they not opposing the private channeling of doctors? They can work overtime at the hospital and we are prepared to pay for that. They never say anything like that. What they want is provision for them to earn more and stop to the creation of more doctors. That is what they want.